Hello guys, it's Leisha J. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for joining me on today's video. In today's video, I'll be sharing the five things you should know if you are new to Weight Watchers or if you're just joining, or maybe my five best tips for newbies. <laughs> um, now Weight Watchers, as you know, is now being called WW. They've kind of rebranded in the last few months. Um, so these are my best tips for beginning WW. Um, if you're not familiar with the program, WW is a point system. It provides um, point values for every food that you eat. It gives you an app where you can track those foods and your activity. Um, I know a lot of you are familiar with it. Probably if you're watching this video, you're already on Weight Watchers. But I know that there are some folks who are looking for some ideas and tips to see if they're interested in Weight Watchers in general. Although I did say that these are my five tips if you're beginning Weight Watchers or if you're new to Weight Watchers, I think that these tips are honestly a good refresher for anyone on the WW program. You'll hear me refer to it as both WW and Weight Watchers. Sorry guys, it's kind of hard to change that. But anyway, um, so I think this is good even if you're already on WW just to kind of refresh and these are just some good tips to be aware of while you're on the program. So my number one tip or thing you should know is that WW is not magic. It's not a fad diet, it's not magic. Weight Watchers is a tool for success. They're giving you, you know, a way to track things, a method of, you know, assigning values to foods with points, but it's not magic. You have to put in the work. They'll give you the tools that are necessary to succeed, but you have to put in the work. That's why, you know, there are tons of people who are successful in WW. There are also people that are not successful and that's because they didn't put in the work and they weren't dedicated. It's not a reflection of WW in my opinion, it's a reflection of the person, which, you know, I understand different things work for different people. However, WW is a great program with great tools, but you have to show up every day and be willing to track, to, you know, move, exercise. It's, it's just a healthy, way of eating and a way of life. It's not magic. And that's the thing I love about WW. It's not a fad diet. This is a life change. Um, so if you're not ready for a life change and you're just wanting to wake up tomorrow 50 pounds lighter, then WW isn't for you. Um, it's not an immediate solution to a problem. It's tools to help you succeed, you know, with your own hard work. So that's the first thing I want to address is that it's not a fad diet. It's not a magic pill. The second thing you should know if you're joining WW. WW is a community. You're not alone. So don't go through this program and go through this journey alone. There's no reason for it. Connect is amazing. It's an amazing community of people online that you can only access if you're a paying member of WW or a lifetime member. It's a safe place and you should utilize that. You'll find inspiration, motivation, accountability, all kinds of things that you need on this journey. So don't go through this alone. Um, if you're not into connect um, on Instagram and on YouTube, there's tons of WW members that share a lot of their journey. So find your tribe, get on Instagram, get on YouTube, connect, find your tribe. Weight Watchers is a community. It's an amazing community, a passionate, motivated, inspiring and encouraging community. I know that's a lot of, um, positive words right there, but that's how I feel about it. This community is awesome. So don't suffer through your weight loss journey. And I'm not saying it's suffering, but there's times that you feel like you are. It's difficult, it's not always easy. So don't suffer through those hard times alone. Reach out, find your tribe, find your community, you're never alone. My third tip, this may sound silly, but my third tip is to eat your points. Weight Watchers calculates your points based on your um, sex, your height, your weight, things like whether you're a nursing mother or not. And, you know, they give you a certain amount of points for a reason. Eat your points. That's really important. Um, the less you eat, the more you lose is not a true statement. You need to eat your points. You need to be nourished. You need to be full. Um, you need to be full and nourished on healthy foods. And you need to eat your points. Um, honestly, that's just... Something that not all Weight Watcher members do, but I think they should. Um, even if you see immediate results, say you keep losing weight well, great, but not eating enough and under eating can slow down your metabolism over time, causing weight loss in the future to be really hard. So eat your points, do not under eat. Slow and steady wins the race, eat your points. My fourth tip, trust Weight Watchers and trust the plan. 
Weight Watchers has been <clears throat> in business for 55 years. I looked that up before I started this video. They've been around since 1963 and they've been helping people wait, lose weight for 55 years. Trust them. If you can trust a company enough to pay them a monthly fee, then you can trust them enough to follow the plan. Follow the directions. Do what they say to do. How can you expect to succeed when you're not fully trusting the plan? I know there are a lot of WW members who feel like they want to count calories alongside points, and I'm not throwing any shade at you if you do that. But, I mean, I've been successful and lost all my weight by counting points. Because I'm a WW member, I count points. I'm not going to count calories and points and fat and all of this, these things to further solidify my trust in Weight Watchers. If I can trust Weight Watchers enough to pay them every month, I can trust them enough to help me be successful. So, you know, trust the plan. Yes, you can, you know, experiment, find what works for you. I'm all about that. However, trust the plan, work the plan, do it as you're supposed to, and you'll be successful. So, just trust. And I know it's not easy to trust, especially when you've had a weight problem your entire life, maybe, like me. How can you just do this one thing and just expect that your life's going to change? Well, you can. Once you change your mindset and you start taking the necessary steps to be a successful Weight Watcher member, your life will change. If you just follow the steps they lay out for you, your life will change. And I think that people complicate the program by adding in counting calories, watching your fat, watching your carbs. Follow the program. Trust WW, trust the plan. They've done this a long time. Trust it. And my fifth and final tip is to be patient and don't give up. Rome wasn't built in a day. This isn't a magic pill, as I already said. Don't expect to lose tons and tons of weight like the person you saw on Connect this morning or your friend down the street. It may not happen for you. Be patient. This is your journey. Your journey, not mine. I wanted to lose 100 pounds in my first year. Well, right now I'm about a month and a half from hitting my year mark and I'm down almost 60 pounds. I'm not gonna make 100 pounds and that's okay. That's okay. I feel amazing. I look so much better. I have a new zest for life and a new outlook on life. What I've already accomplished is invaluable. If I never lost another pound, this is invaluable. These 60 pounds I've lost have done wonders for my life. So don't rush it. Be patient. Know that this is your own journey, no one else's. And don't give up. If the scale doesn't budge for a couple of weeks, don't give up. If you keep going off track and going negative in your points, keep trying. Wake up tomorrow, your points will reset, try again. And that's, you know, the best thing I can say. Don't give up. Be patient. And the last thing, give yourself some grace, especially if you're just starting out. Give yourself some grace. If you mess up, try again tomorrow. Even if you've been on Weight Watchers like me for almost a year, I still have to give myself grace every day and every week because I'm not perfect. And there's a reason I've been overweight my whole life because I have a problem with food. But I'm trying and I'm working for it every day. And I have to be you know, comfortable enough in myself to say, Alicia, it's okay if you mess up. If you gain this week, it's okay. I'm proud of you for trying, and I'll try again next week. So give yourself some grace. Don't be too hard on yourself. You've got this, just keep trying. Thank you so much for joining me on today's video. If you're new to WW and haven't joined yet, maybe this will give you inspiration to go ahead and join and get started. If you're not new and you're like me and you've been around a while, I hope this kind of gave you a shot in the arm and just kind of motivated you. Honestly, this helped me just talking this out on camera um, and reminding myself the things I need to do. Um, so if you are new to WW and you've not signed up yet, down in my description box, there will be a link that you can click on. It's my referral link. Now, it's not anything special. Every WW member has one. If you sign up through that link, I'll get a free month and you will too. So if you want to go that route, I'd really appreciate it. And I'm sure you would too to get that extra free month. Um, but thank you so much for watching today's video. Thanks for coming over and visiting my YouTube channel. If you're new to my YouTube channel, feel free to subscribe and stick around. I'd love to see you in the next video. Make sure to like this video and I'll see you next time. Bye guys. Thanks for watching.